And it also allows you to collect pieces of evidence into a, into a bucket as well as you go in. So the Human Rights Investigations Lab that we've just launched at the Human Rights Center at UC Berkeley pulls students from across campus and trains them in how to mine social media and other places on the internet to pull together evidence of human rights abuses and war crimes that are happening around the globe. Wikimapia works very similarly. A lot of the tools and the training these students have had has been figuring out how to corroborate that information, to authenticate those videos, using a number of different really interesting tools. School or hospital, school or hospital. There you go. Do you, yeah. Do you see where Do you see where that popped up? Amnesty International is one of the world's largest uh, NGOs to monitor human rights violations. The impact the students are having sitting here in the Bay Area is really reverberating around the world. We had the first project the week after the initial training. We didn't expect it to happen so quickly. And they did a really, truly remarkable job uh, on a video from, from Sudan, which was then a week later used by Amnesty International in a, in a high-level meeting with, with the United Nations. <laughs> In partnership with Amnesty International, we're hosting students from four different countries to come together and really debrief this first pilot year of teaching students how to do this work. It's completely blown me away. I was entered into this whole new world of using technology to help human rights. I didn't even know it existed. It was, it was really great. I feel like this program brings to light accountability, you know, um, because I guess states, governments would be more, would be aware that they can't just get away with human rights wrongs. We're creating a pipeline of trained investigators who can then also, post-graduation, go out there and provide the staffing for this new generation of human rights work. This program is very much a foundation towards my future career. It's very much even shown me my new path with regards to human rights. The enthusiasm of all the students and the wide range of, of experiences and nationalities and languages spoken and just the pure smartness of them all uh, really meant, meant this project worked really, really well. We've been getting calls from universities all over the world who want to do something similar. So we want to eventually create a global network of really incredible investigators.